Hey there, thinkers. Welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is Est, and I wanted to go over this article about the good old Doctor Who and what they've done to this iconic character. So, let's get into it. So, Shudi Gatwa just had to spill his latest hot takes in an interview, where he revealed his grand vision for the future of Doctor Who. Now, brace yourself, people, because Shudi wants to inject some serious pizzazz into the show. Picture this. A music scene where the doctor busts a move and defeats the bad guy with, <laughs> just wait for it, twerking. Yeah, because apparently what's missing from Doctor Who's formula is a good old twerk off with monsters. Like, who knew? Oh, but don't worry, according to Shooty, this twerkathon is going to attract the elusive trend chasing modern audience. You know, the ones who materialize out of thin air whenever you throw some cringe-worthy gimmicks their way. Personally, I think Doctor Who is currently residing in the deepest, darkest pits of franchise despair. Thanks to all that Jodie drama over the past few years, they've hemorrhaged fans like nobody's business. I mean, we're talking about losing half the fan base here. And let's not forget the cherry on top, messing with the lore and history of the Doctor. Bravo, guys. Bravo. But don't worry, there's more. Now we got this new guy swooping in to turn the show into an even bigger circus. And if you dare to criticize this train wreck, well, you're a racist. Obviously. Because, you know, constructive criticism and genuine concern are so last season. So, Shudi Gatwa, the 15th Doctor, blesses us with his wish list for the show. He basically begged for a dance routine so fierce it could slay monsters. And guess what? He's already eyeing up kilts and skirts for the costume department because nothing says modernizing Doctor Who like gender bending fashion choices, right? Can't wait to see the Doctor rocking a skirt. It's what every diehard fan has been clamoring for. Obviously. But hey, let's not lose hope, people. I'm sure Disney swooping in to save the day will only make things definitely worse. Because, you know, Disney loves its messes, so buckle up, fellow Whovians. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And if you need me, I'll be over here trying to scrub the mental image of a doctor twerking out of my brain. Because, you know, what's Doctor Who without a little intergalactic dance-off? What are you doing? Dance-off, bro! Me and you! Gatwa is not satisfied with just twerking. No, no, he's throwing in some death drops for good measure because apparently the only way to vanquish evil is with a killer dance routine. Moreover, a sonic screwdriver, there's a new weapon in town, so brace yourselves, fellow Whovians, for a spectacle of a lifetime because if Shudi Gatwa has his way, Doctor Who will become the hottest dance party in the galaxy. And who knows, maybe next season we'll get to see the Daleks break dancing their way to domination. Truly, the possibilities are endless. Hold on to your TARDISes, people, because it seems like we're diving headfirst into the abyss of absurdity here. So initially, I like to believe that no one in their right mind would concoct such a ludicrous idea for Doctor Who. But then again, have you seen the state of Hollywood lately? Common sense seems to be in short supply. And anything goes if it's labeled as creative. Apparently, they are all about pushing boundaries and societal norms because what's Doctor Who without a bit of gender-bending fashion, am I right? Forget about the derelicts and Cybermen. No, no, the real threat to the universe is the Doctor in a skirt. Because that's exactly what fans have been clamoring for, isn't it? I mean, who wouldn't want to see their beloved Time Lord sporting a wardrobe straight out of a gender studies textbook? And let's not forget the cherry on top. Disney's looming presence. Because if there's one thing Disney knows how to do, it's to take a sinking ship and make it hit rock bottom even faster. However, at least we get to see the Doctor reflecting today's society in all of its glory. Because nothing screams cultural commentary like the Time Lord twirling around in a dress. So, my dear Doctor Who fans, I hate to break this to you, but the show's descent into madness shows no signs of slowing down. But hey, at least we can sit back and enjoy the spectacle. After all, it's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. You just can't look away. I say, brace yourself for another dose of left-leaning liberal lunacy. Apparently, we're all in for a treat next year. An episode so delightfully woke, it's practically a love letter to the leftist agenda. Because what's Doctor Who without a healthy dose of political pandering? 
Am I right? Like, hold on to your panties because it just gets better. They're not just dipping their toes into the pool of progressivism. Oh no, they're diving headfirst with another dance scene, straight out of a woke fever dream. Our beloved doctor twerking on a monster, and wait for it, destroying it in the process, because nothing says social commentary quite like booty shaking your way to victory. And of course, let's not forget the doctor doing it all in a dress, because what better way to stick it to the patriarchy than busting at some sick moves in a skirt? So dear thinkers, get ready to witness the pinnacle of progressive propaganda unfold before your very eyes. Because if there's one thing that we can count on, it's Doctor Who's unwavering commitment to push the boundaries of absurdity. I personally can't wait for the ratings to plummet even further for the Sumster Fire of a show. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Disney decides to swoop in and sprinkle their special brand of poo poo all over it. Because, you know, when has Disney ever made anything better? Well, that's everything I've got for now. Share your scorching hot takes down in the comments below. And if you do disagree, please duke it out respectfully. Subscribe to our channel, hit that like button if you're feeling generous, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. As always, this is Est, and I'm signing off now. So I will see you in the next one. Toodles!